We've been on a wild ride the past few years between COVID, our pastoral transition, and then our pastor's battle with cancer. We've really been through the ringer. And what's amazing is that with all that's going on, we're not just showing signs of life, we're showing signs of strength. Let us never forget, we didn't get through all these challenges with human effort. In fact, it's in spite of our feeble effort. God is pulling us through the hardest three years in our church's history. We're humbled by how merciful and gracious he's been to us, and we should all cry out for even more of his mercy and grace. No part of me believes the future is going to be easy, because it's not going to be easy. But we should all be encouraged that while we can't guarantee the future, there's some indicators that get us excited about the future of Valley Baptist. Now, I've mentioned this before, but it seems like God's kind of teeing it up for some impactful years here in our city and across our world. Here's a few exciting indicators of momentum being built throughout our church these past few years. This is such an exciting time to be at Valley Baptist. I wish I had 10 videos to tell you about all the amazing things God is doing in our church right now. I'm sure you've noticed that we've had an incredible amount of people who have started attending our church over the course of this last year. Many of you watching this video are a part of this new wave of people. It's been great seeing people give their life to Jesus and then going public with their decision by getting baptized. Not only are new people coming, they're getting involved. Did you know that since 2020, there have been 435 people who have started serving for the very first time in our church. God is continuing to build up an army of servants here at Valley Baptist. It's been so fun being over at the Olive Drive campus this last year. Did you know that as of last month, Olive Drive is up 229% in baptisms compared to the previous year. On top of that, Olive Drive is up in worship service attendance and life group attendance. We love what God is doing at Olive Drive and we want to continue to invest in that campus. So we're going to be upgrading the technology at Olive Drive to provide an even better visual experience at that campus. One of the things that I've been most excited about this last year is that we gave the biggest Lottie Moon Christmas offering our church has ever given in the 38 years of our history. You, the people of our church, gave over a half a million dollars to that special offering, and all of that goes to directly support on-the-field missionaries serving throughout the world. When you add that to what we already give to missions, that means that our church is on track to give well over a million dollars to missions this year. This last year, we also sent out about a dozen short-term mission trips from our church, and that's the most we have ever sent out in a single year. It's been an incredible year of sending out people and resources to help spread the gospel around the world. God is working in us, among us, and through us. This is a great time to be here at Valley Baptist. God is blessing in amazing ways. And while we're excited to talk about all those measurable stats, we're convinced that God's greatest blessings are immeasurable. We can't see it all, but we can sense it. He's preparing the ground for a great harvest. He's preparing us as workers in his harvest. And I can't wait to experience all that he has in store for us. Now, what's next for our church? How can you be praying for us? Well, when people ask how they can pray for me, I always ask people to pray that God would grant me wisdom, an abundance of wisdom. So please pray that we'll have an abundance of wisdom moving forward as the Lord leads and as he guides. Also pray for future Valley Baptist pastor. My dad and Pastor Phil retired and Brian and I moved into their roles. But we haven't replaced ourselves yet. We need to do that and then some. We were already a little bit short-handed on pastoral help for the size congregation that we have. You also need to be praying for a number of big projects we have on the horizon for our campuses. These projects were already in the works with the hopes they'd be done by my dad's retirement in August. Well, his retirement got moved up. We want to push forward with them and continue the, the great legacy we have of doing all things with excellence, even as it relates to our facilities, all for the glory of God. Now, the last thing I ask our congregation to pray is to pray for our city. Pray broad prayers for our city, but also pray targeted prayers for our city. In other words, put some names on your lips and allow God to put some names on your heart. Pray for your neighbors by name. Pray for your family by name. And pray for your coworkers by name. And let's reach our city and world for Christ, one person at a time.